As a neurologist, one of the hardest disorders to treat is CRPS or RSD. For years, uh, before knowing about hyperbaric therapy, I would just send them off to pain management and uh, hope that the pain management doctor would reduce the people's pain and suffering. And then coincidentally, when I got into hyperbaric therapy, I had a patient who presented with a non-healing wound in the leg and coincidentally RSD in a limb in the upper extremity, having nothing to do with one another, by the way. And after I treated the patient's wound, uh, which completely healed, the patient told me, by the way, my CRPS RSD in my arm or hand completely went away. And I thought it was coincidental, and I didn't think much of it then, until about six months later I had a similar episode with another patient coming in with another non-healing wound and also CRPS in another limb. Again, not related. Treat that patient as well, and sure enough, all the pain went away. The swelling, inflammation, the joint pains, the uh, discoloration, the light touch that's so horrible, uh, resolved. And then I went to some of my patients that I had sent off to pain management. I called them back, I said, hey, what, how are you doing? How's the discomfort you know, that I sent you to the pain management doctor for over the last five or six years? And they said, they're still going for nerve blocks, still, uh, they're getting a spinal stimulator, morphine pump, they're no better off, they're just they're going for routine visits every week or two. So I called them back to the office and I treated them with hyperbaric therapy. And every one of them had either a 100% resolution of the RST or 95% reduction in the RST. It's then I got the feeling that we we're missing something in medicine. Hyperbaric therapy, which is the safest, purest method of treating patients with any medical disease, really, but particularly CRPS, with a therapy I'm using oxygen, which is kind of, we're breathing this every single day. And it's a painless therapy where people are lying on a stretcher, enclosed in clear glass, breathing 100% oxygen under increased pressure while watching television. Not even a painful treatment, by the way. Just relaxing, snoozing, watching TV. 75% of the patients I treat have an outstandingly good response. Another 15% have a good response, and 10% some improvement not as well as I'd like. But look, it's 80%, 90% improvement with CRPS is an outstanding response. Let me tell you how patients uh, react with hyperbaric therapy. 50 to 75% of every patient I ever treat, within two days, they get their normal sleep pattern back without drugs. That takes like 20% of the problem and throws it in the garbage, that alone. Subsequent to that, next several days, the swelling starts going down, the discoloration starts minimizing. By the seventh, eighth treatment, the magnitude of pain starts diminishing. And from there, we're able to get more function of the affected limb. We have in our office here a physical therapist who actually knows CRPS, RSD. If we do hyperbaric therapy with physical therapy in the right order, meaning physical therapy before treatment, hyperbaric subsequent to that, any inflame, inflammation that would have occurred does occur and it increases the healing phase. I find from the 10th treatment to the 20th, which is our common protocol, that gradually, progressively, the symptoms resolve. If not 100%, 95%, 90%. To the point we've had patients that came to us wheelchair bound, who by the time they left, walked out of here without assistance at all, no cane, nothing, walked out without any assistance at all. People who've had their arm frozen because of the RSD, have it, have it function again. We've had patients that came to us that could not be in, 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 the, in the shower because the hot water was hurting them. From here, they go into the ocean for the first time and able to swim where the water doesn't even bother them. They walk the hot sand beach. They couldn't do that before. They, they, they are able to actually be, be to come in the wheelchair and they walk into the beach or close to the sand, into the water. Unbelievable. So 
the patients that we do see with RSD or CRPS in general have done outstandingly well. And there's no need to suffer with this disorder if you at least give it a chance because the other opportunities you have frequently are not effective. Hyperbaric therapy is probably among the best treatments available, which is painless, pure, natural, and probably the best option you have for treating this disorder. Consider that. Don't live with, don't live, don't live with the disorder if you don't need to. We can treat this. We've done this. I've treated over 500 people over the years with CRPS, RSD, and they've done uniformly great. So you should not have to live with this. When someone says, no, it won't work, it works.